For the past 10 years, we've been issuing checks for government payouts to citizens who have not provided their bank account details before. This was inconvenient, as citizens had to queue up during banking hours to encash their checks. We wanted to phase out checks to serve our citizens better. There was also an added push at that time. We didn't want people to risk catching COVID while queuing at the banks. Our team approached the banks for a solution. It needed to be accessible 24 by 7, user-friendly and easy even for the elderly recipients. <laughs> yeah, at that point it seemed like a tall order. OCBC came back with the suggestion to use facial recognition at their ATMs. This meant that citizens would be able to withdraw their government payouts conveniently without the need to have a bank account. We then roped in GovTech to ensure that withdrawal of cash payouts would be secure. This led to the birth of GovTech. Initially, I felt very uncertain. It was my first time working with so many external stakeholders. And for a project for this scale, it was very difficult to see the end-to-end -end workflow. It was ambitious. Timeline was tight. And COVID meant that we had to work remotely most of the time. But we had a common goal, to succeed on the very first pilot test. Each organization was building systems from scratch in an agile manner, and there were many linkages. The changes in one system design would result in a domino effect of changes in other systems, and we had very little time to react. Weekly meetings with the different organizations helped us to understand each other's systems better. We had daily stand-ups with the GovTech developers, sometimes even on the weekends. I had to iron out the kinks in the implementation of facial recognition technology with OCBC as we were the first in Singapore to use this for cash withdrawals. We even gathered 30 staff of different heights and races to do trials at OCBC mock ATMs. Our colleagues carried out tests at the actual ATMs in the middle of the night too. The first pilot was carried out with a small group of 700 welfare income supplement recipients. The next day, around 10 a.m., I received an email saying our citizens were successfully withdrawing money using of cash. We were so happy it worked. The second pilot was to a bigger cohort of around 2,000 people. We rolled out two other functions, pay now transfer and scan and pay, so citizens could have more ways to use their GovCash cash monies conveniently. Once OCBC set up the ATMs island-wide, we released GovCash cash to the entire cohort of about 7,000 workfare recipients. It was a moment to be really proud of. I think the synergy that we had was amazing. With so many parties involved, it was a complex project. But thankfully, it also meant a much better solution. After the launch, we continued to monitor the service and address customer feedbacks. We didn't celebrate until a month later. Well, it gave me a great sense of achievement to be able to work with the private sector to solve a long-standing problem. Together, we developed a win-win solution. CPF bought and the banks eliminated checks, and our citizens benefited from a more convenient service. 